Welcome to Minis on the Dragon, where the minis are plentiful and the dragon doesn't stand a chance. First time driving the dragon? No worries, you've come to the right place. This event is loaded with veteran mini motorers ready to help you become a better driver and a safe driver so you can relax and have a great time out there. The best way to learn the dragon is to drive it and we're going to go out and do that in a few minutes. Before we do, here are some safety tips. The Dragon is a picturesque, challenging road with 318 curves in 11 miles. To drive it safely, you need to give it your full attention and respect. For the driver, this definitely is not a sightseeing tour. Before pulling out, make sure you secure all loose items, fasten your seatbelt, and tune your FRS radio to channel 721. The CG lock is a seatbelt accessory that will keep you planted firmly in your seat. Many people say they make driving the Dragon much more pleasurable. Some event vendors may have them for sale. Keep your radio nearby so you can reach it without having to look away from the road. We always use channel 7 and sub-channel 21 on the Dragon and during organized drives. Okay, it's time to pull out. Relax and hold the wheel at 10 and 2 o'clock. As you're driving, you'll want to shuffle the wheel through your hands to maintain better control. Minimize shifting as you can easily drive the whole Dragon in second gear. The Dragon is a challenging drive at the posted speed limit of 30 miles per hour, which is rigidly enforced. It's better to take it a little slow your first few times until you know the road. Don't overuse your brakes in the turns as they can overheat and fade on you later. If you're having trouble making the turns, just slow down. And here's the big one, don't cross the center line. Why is this so important? Well, it can save your life for one. The Dragon is a two-lane road with no real shoulders and very little room for error. Crossing the line is always a recipe for disaster. These photos, provided by Killboy, show just a few of the situations you might encounter. In this one, the Corvette pulled over to let the first Mini pass, then pulled back out almost hitting the second Mini. Someone needs to tell these people they're not in the UK. You never really know what you might find around the next turn. Even 18-wheelers show up there from time to time. This one was in the gravity cavity during the Dragon Parade at Minis on the Dragon 5. But the center line is not the only line you need to watch. The outside line deserves close attention too. There are many areas where the pavement is washed away, creating a 6 to 8 inch drop on the shoulder of the road. This is dangerous, and if you drop a wheel off the pavement, your Mini could overturn. That's me and Mini B during my rookie Dragon runs at Minis on the Dragon 5. I stayed focused on the center line and later watched the video, surprised at how close I had come to disaster. My outside back wheel is extremely close to going off the pavement. Here's another look. The front wheel on this Mini is over the outside line and very close to dropping off the road. So why is this so important? Well, we've had several Minis overturn when a wheel went off the road, and we've had a few other accidents in situations where skilled veteran drivers just made a mistake. And I'm sure nearly everyone who's been here before can tell you about a near miss or a time when they were a little overconfident and came close to losing control. Thankfully, no one in a Mini has been seriously hurt, which is a tribute to the safe design and toughness of our little cars. But make no mistake, the dragon can and will bite. What else might you see out there? Critters. Just on the north side of the overlook, lots of turkeys have been spotted recently. Bears have been known to cross the road, and one ran into this mini a few years back. This deer was one of several that ran into the lead mini on a midnight run during a fall event. So be alert, we're playing in nature's backyard. And then there's North Carolina State Road 28, known as the Hellbender. It's the road that takes you from Fontana to Deals Gap and the Dragon. More minis have had accidents on the Hellbender than the Dragon. Why? Because it's mostly flat with longer straightaways and the turns look deceptively easy. If you build up too much speed into some of the turns, you may find religion in a hurry, so be careful. One tight turn in particular is on a small bridge. As you return to Fontana, you'll see the concrete wall on the end of the bridge is marked with red paint. 
many vehicles have hit the end of this wall. Again, be careful. If other motorists are behind you, wanting to go faster, don't let them push you beyond your limits. Just find a place to pull over, let them pass, then continue at your own pace. More than anything, relax, pay attention, and have fun. If you need any help, just ask another Miniac. Now let's get out there and do some motoring.